After a four-month journey, it was here English explorers first landed. They reported this new land has fresh waters, fair meadows, and goodly tall trees. Over 400 years later, people are still exploring the shores of this commonwealth. Some from the sky, others ziplining through its wetland forests, and still others by water. We go back to where it all started in our Virginia Beach getaway. If you build it, they will come. In this field of dreams, you just have to take the first step. Virginia Beach gives us the opportunity to do just that, to explore where those original settlers first landed, to get out on the water, to see the dolphins, and even to make trash into a beautiful park, to climb the mountains in our lives one step at a time, enjoying God's creation. In this video, we'll show you an engineering wonder of the world, the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. But that's not the only tunnel we go through. With the help of our stunt coordinator, Jimmy, at AdventureWorks Wetland Zipline Park. We explore the Waterside District in Norfolk and show a variety of boat tours, including the majestic American Rover Schooner, take you on one of the East Coast's best boardwalks, or you might see someone playing a piano while riding a bike. We'll get wet on the Rudy Rocket Speedboat and show all the water sport fun at Rudy's Inlet, including parasailing and jet skiing. We hop on a banana boat for a wild ride. We take you inside the Virginia Aquarium where you can board the Atlantic Explorer Show the treetop challenge course at the aquarium, Motor World, and Ocean Breeze Water Park. Travel south to Back Bay Wildlife Area. Show Little Island Beach Park and Pier. And Sandbridge Beach. We'll give you tips on dining, lodging, and camping. So, you ready to climb aboard? To gear it up? Maybe get a little wet? If not, I've saved a couple of chairs for you to just enjoy the scenery. It's time to head back to the coast where it all began for our nation, to where so many currently serve to protect its freedoms, and to where there's plenty of fun waiting for you. <laughs> Come with us as we rediscover Virginia Beach. It was the early morning hours on April 26, 1607 that three ships with English settlers would approach the mouth of the Chesapeake Bay. They would name this land Cape Henry in honor of the Prince of Wales, Henry Frederick, the elder son of King James. 17 days later, after sailing further inland, they would make Jamestown the first settlement that would become a new nation. The first president of that new nation, George Washington, would authorize the building of the Cape Henry Lighthouse in 1792. It would be replaced by the new Cape Henry Lighthouse nearly a hundred years later in 1881. You can visit the old lighthouse today, but it is on a military base, so those without a DOD ID card have to be shuttled from the gate to the lighthouse. Children under 42 inches admitted for free. It's morning. The present day beach explorers rewarded with a gorgeous sunrise over the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier and the King Neptune statue, the famous landmark of Virginia Beach. We'll explore this pier and the boardwalk later, but for now, let's get some coffee. Badass Coffee of Hawaii. They have a good selection of pastries, including a paleo gluten-free banana bread, as well as being highly reviewed for their coffee. They are located a half mile from the beach, and that's a good thing, because it means you can get free, convenient parking something that's hard to find anywhere around the beach. We head back to First Landing State Park. It's $10 per vehicle on weekends, April through October, $7 all other times. There are over 16 great hiking, biking, and running trails, totaling 19 miles through marsh habitat, freshwater ponds, beach, dunes, forests, and cypress swamp. 
You can take a two and a half hour kayak tour with kayak nature tours on the bay side, ocean side, or riverside. It's anywhere from $57 to $67 for a single kayak or $114 to $134 for a double kayak. There's a nature center both on the riverside as well as on the beach side that gives the history of the region. And you can learn about the Chesapeake Bay watershed, the largest estuary in North America. 64th Street leads into the south entrance of the park and ends at a large boat ramp. We now head along Shore Drive over to the beach side of the park. On the Chesapeake Bay side, there are more than 200 campsites from $24 to $32, nestled within the dunes of the beach. Sites for tents, hookups for RVs, and there are four of these elevated yurts with wooden decks overlooking the Chesapeake Bay. Also 20 cabins on the opposite side of Shore Drive. Cabins range from $94 to $139 per night. I put a link in the description below for more info. This park is huge. It's easy to get lost. Picked up a lost runner, Cheryl, who lives in the area. And anyway, what do you think about the beaches here? I love them. They're not crowded. You know, it's not a bunch of kids partying. It's, you know, more of a family area. There are people there, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I really, I really like it. You know, it's just so much more chill than it was in Los Angeles and it's affordable here. Just a little further west from First Landing State Park is Chesapeake Beach, another one of those less crowded beaches of Virginia Beach, and the best place to view the sunset over the bay. The main public beach is on the east side of the Lynn Haven Inlet. On the west side of the inlet is where you'll find many vacation rentals near the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. There's a nice waterside restaurant with a view of the bridge, Bowie 44 Seafood Grill. By eating here, you get a parking spot so that you can walk along the beach and under the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. I had the crab cake sandwich. They are good with ordering by phone too. Bella getting some love. The Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel is an engineering marvel with 12 miles of bridges and two one mile long tunnels. Totaling 17.6 miles long, it carries U.S. Highway 13 that connects the Virginia Beach Norfolk region with the more rural Cape Charles area. And further north is coastal Maryland. 20 minutes west of Virginia Beach is Norfolk. This is where you can take your larger boat tours. Norfolk has a major naval base, shipping port, and cruise terminal. At the Waterside District is where Nauticus is located, a maritime discovery center with interactive exhibits, a sailing center, and where you can tour the USS Wisconsin. It is $16 for adults, $11.50 for children 4 through 12. Includes a self-guided tour of the battleship Wisconsin. Next to the Nauticus Museum is Town Point Park, a large linear waterfront park that hosts concerts, festivals, a water fountain area to play in. It is here you can board the Victory Rover for a two-hour naval base cruise along the Elizabeth River. $29 for adults, $19 for children 4 through 12. You can also purchase combo tickets that include the Nauticus Museum and USS Wisconsin. There is also city cruises with lunch, brunch, and dinner cruises from $55 to $78. At the east end of Town Point Park is the Norfolk Market. A couple of waterfront restaurants here, the Blue Moon Tap House on one side, and Striper Seafood Eatery on the other side. This is Norfolk's hangout space, inside a large bar in the center with big screen TV on the wall. The fudgery for desserts, and a small arcade here as well. Behind the Norfolk Market is the Waterside Marina, where you can board the American Rover Schooner. You can watch the crew pull up the sails. A two-hour harbor cruise is $29 for adults or $19 for children 4 through 12. The Sunset Cruises features live music and is $40 Sunday through Thursday or $45 Fridays and Saturdays. The Elizabeth River Ferry travels between Portsmouth, located on the other side of the Elizabeth River, and the Waterside District in Norfolk. It is $2 each way. Children under 17 ride free with paid adult. 
All right, let's head back to Virginia Beach. Mount Trashmore is a park located about nine miles from the beach. It is named so because it was a former landfill for trash that was converted into a park. It has two mountains and two lakes. The main mountain is 60 feet in height. A good place to get some cardio training with some stair climbing. At the top, a monument for Virginia Beach and a running trail. Lake Trashmore is a freshwater lake with a variety of fish. Fishing is permitted from land with a Virginia freshwater fishing license. One more stop before we get out on the water. Picking up a sandwich wrap from Fruit Tip, a vegan eatery about three miles from the beach where you can get power smoothies, bowls, wraps, healthy food for the active lifestyle. I'm having the Southwest wrap. We begin our tour of the oceanfront area of Virginia Beach at Rudy Inlet at the south end of the boardwalk. And we'll gradually move north showing you the beach. This is the go-to hub for boat tours, fishing charters, jet skiing, and parasailing. The water sport fun begins at the south end of Pacific Avenue near the Rudy Inlet Bridge. This is a parking lot that can get pretty busy, so you want to allow yourself extra time. Rudy Tours has a 90-minute narrated dolphin cruise with a fleet of boats. $25 for adults, $21 for kids, 4 to 11. It sails out of the inlet along the beach towards Chesapeake Bay. They also have fishing trips in the Chesapeake Bay. That is $50 for adults and $40 for kids for a half day. I am going to try the Rudy Rocket Speedboat. It's the same price as the Dolphin Cruise, $25 for adults, $21 for children. The trip though is 60 minutes long. But it's 60 minutes of exhilaration, as it is powered by two turbo 1,000 horsepower caterpillars. It sails out of the inlet to Cape Henry that we showed earlier. On the way, it goes at a moderate pace along the boardwalk, searching for dolphins. Hassan and Naomi here enjoying the sights. On this trip, we saw a lot of dolphins. It sails out to Cape Henry, then turns around. Then on the way back, it speeds up, and this is where you get a load of wet. You can determine how wet you want to get by where you sit in the boat. The very front doesn't get as wet, but the middle of the boat gets very wet. I asked Hassan and Naomi, what did they think? What did you think? I liked it. It was great. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. It was good. He got a little <laughs> wet. He got a little wet. <laughs> <laughs> Next door to Rudy Tours is Adventure Parasail and Rudy Inlet Jet Ski. The jet skis are $120 for a half hour or $170 for an hour. A second rider just add $10. Their parasailing is $80 to $90 per person. There is also Pirate Parasail further down the inlet. It's $80 per person for a flight or an observer can ride along for $25. Adventure Parasail also has banana boats, which I'm going to try. It is $40 per person for a 30-minute trip. If you book online, it will say a minimum of four people is required. But if you call them, they can usually find a spot for you with one or two people. I'm riding with Yesenia and Anthony and Ingrid and Lexi from Maryland. It does rock you around pretty good, so might not want to do it if you have back issues. You hold on like a cowboy. It helps if you lean forward. The ride is just exhilarating as you bounce over the waves. You can signal to the captain if you want to go faster or slower. At the marina, you can grab a bite to eat at Big Sam's Cafe and Raw Bar, serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner with seating overlooking Rudy Inlet. You can also take a two-hour pedal and drink cruise with Chesapeake Bay Pedal Club. $38 per person or a sunset cruise, $43. Includes coolers, ice, and bottled water. You just bring your own beer, wine, and snacks. At the actual inlet, the south end of Atlantic Avenue, there is plenty of parking. It is $7 per weekday or $10 weekend and holidays. 
The Rudy Inlet is also good for fishing, where you can catch summer flounder, red drum, and spotted sea trout. Also popular at the inlet on the north side of the First Street Jetty is surfing. Also here at the south end of the boardwalk is Gromit Island Park with a large covered playground. All this makes Rudy Inlet a great place to come, to hang out, to surf, fish, watch the birds, the boats, the people, enjoying the nature of Virginia Beach. The Inlet is at First Street. We now move north along the beach. A mile from Rudy Inlet is the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier at 15th Street. It's one of only two piers in Virginia Beach. It is open seasonally, generally the beginning of April through October. In the summer, 6 a.m. to midnight, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. all other times. There's a parking lot in front of the pier. It's 20 to $25. At the base of the pier is Ocean Eddie's Seafood Restaurant in an old beach setting with crab cakes, chowder, and other seafood. Also, the pier gift shop, souvenirs and fudge, and a snack bar. To fish at the pier, it's $10 for adults, $5 for children under 12. No fishing license is required. It is $2 for sightseeing. This pier has a nice cleaning station. Among the fish caught includes croaker, kingfish, trout, bluefish, red drum, and Spanish mackerel. This is an older pier built in 1950, and its days might soon be coming to an end. The city has proposed a new 880-foot concrete pier with a Ferris wheel that would replace this pier. Okay, now let's hop on a bike and show you the boardwalk. While it's not a wooden boardwalk, it is nice, three miles long, a very wide pedestrian walk, and a separated path for bikes. You can rent these Surrey bikes for $30 an hour or $70 for five hours with Sherry's bicycle and blade rentals. They also have beach cruisers, three-wheelers, and inline skates, as well as beach chairs for $9 and umbrellas for $9 as well. Just three-tenths of a mile north of the pier is 17th Street Park, a Dairy Queen here. This is one of the areas with regular concerts and special events. From 7 p.m. to 10.45 p.m., you might see this pedal piano. It is free entertainment by the city to promote BeachEventsVB.com, a website that gives all the info on live events happening on the Virginia Beach oceanfront. Another place for outdoor concerts is 24th Street Park. The symbolic landmark of Virginia Beach is located at 31st Street. The 36-foot King Neptune statue. He holds a loggerhead sea turtle in his left hand. A couple of blocks further up is Katie's 33rd Street Grill. Tortuga's Cafe and Tiki Bar in Loggerhead's Bar and Grill at the Hilton. You can burn off some of those calories and get some strength training at 36th Street with an outdoor fitness area. Speaking of strength and endurance, the Navy Seal Monument at 37th Street. And the boardwalk comes to an end at 40th Street. Getting hungry, let's head back to one of those restaurants. The Ocean 27 Restaurant and Beach Bar, located at 27th Street in the Hyatt House. A good seafood menu. I'm trying the bubblegum combo platter. Delicious. There's the Wild Fowl Heritage Museum at 11th Street. At 7th Street, Chicks on the Beach, a casual beachfront hangout with seafood, a full bar, indoor and outdoor seating. Across the street from the pier is the Atlantic Fun Park featuring 16 rides, a go-kart track, midway games, and food stands. You can either pay per ride or get an unlimited day pass, which is $50 for those 48 inches and over, or $25 for those under 48 inches. Some nice murals here. I will say parking in Virginia Beach can be a little challenging. It's fairly expensive around the oceanfront area. We head back to the hotel. 
We stayed at the Days Inn at the beach. I love this location because it was close to Rudy Inlet. Was fortunate to get a room on the first floor, so worked out great for me. It is not pet friendly, other than service animals. Also, Virginia Beach Coffee Company is in the same building. They have breakfast sandwiches, pastries, and good coffee. And an oversized Virginia Beach chair for pictures. Just a mile and a half southwest of the Rudy Inlet is the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center. There is an amazing walk through tunnel through a 300,000 gallon tank where you can see sharks, rays, and other aquatic species native to the Chesapeake Bay region as well as some as far away as Asia. It is $25 for adults, $20 for children 3 to 11. Interactive exhibits to learn about the sea life. For an additional cost, behind the scenes tours available for Komodo dragons, sea turtles, and sharks. Another popular boat tour here in the aquarium parking lot area. You can board the Atlantic Explorer for a 90 minute educational tour in search of bottlenose dolphins. $29 for adults, $23 for children, 3 to 11. There are four tours a day through the summer. This boat is wheelchair accessible. Also part of the aquarium, but located three quarters of a mile from the main building is the Adventure Park. This forest attraction features several treetop trails with varying difficulties with climbing and zip lining. It is $58 for adults, $49 for children 7 to 13. This allows you three hours of climbing with an additional 30 minute orientation. This is just a nice area to walk through and you don't need a ticket to enjoy the grounds. There's a scenic forested trail that goes all the way back to the aquarium. There's an observation tower here you can climb. Jake here doing a little rappelling. Ran into Michelle and Kyle and their son who live in Virginia Beach. What's it like living in Virginia Beach? Oh, it's fantastic. A lot of stuff to do, a lot of outdoor stuff, uh, traveling the beaches. Next to the Adventure Park is Ocean Breeze Water Park with water slides, a tubing river, and wave pool, over 30 rides. $45 for adults, $35 kids, three to nine, Monday through Thursday. Add $5 for Friday through Sunday. Next to Ocean Breeze Water Park is Motor World with 11 go-kart tracks. There's also bumper boats, paintball, shipwreck mini golf, and small rides. Unlimited racing for three hours is $67 for those 48 inches and above, $29 for those under 48 inches. Two miles south of the aquarium, next to the KOA, is Adventure Works Wetland Zipline Park. I chose to zip line here because it is a 90 minute tour. They have about eight to nine zip lines that vary in length and height, up to a thousand feet long and 60 feet high. And you go through a couple of tunnels. The canopy tour is $60. Our guides, Jimmy and Joey, made it fun, yet kept it safe. Please confirm. You are confirmed. Julia and her friend Anya visiting from Boston. Certainly one of the better zipline parks I've done. <laughs> Next to Adventure Works is this KOA. They have pet friendly cabins you can rent from basic cabins for up to four people with picnic benches. Two deluxe cabins that have full bath with tub and shower that can sleep up to eight people with patio furniture. Also RV sites with full hookups, a nice scenic campground. Almost makes me wish I would have stayed here. We now head to the south where some of the most highly reviewed beaches of the region are located at. The southeastern part of Virginia Beach is the Back Bay Wildlife Refuge. 
There are many opportunities for outdoor recreation here with hiking, biking, wildlife observation, kayaking, both freshwater and surf fishing. The refuge is open from a half hour before sunrise to a half hour after sunset. It is $5 from April to October and free from November to March. Just outside of the northern border to Back Bay is Little Island Park Beach. This is the southern part of Sandbridge Beach. There's a large parking lot here, but even so, it gets very busy on weekends during the summer. It is $5 per day from May to September, but free after 6 p.m. This is a large park with four covered picnic pavilions with barbecue grills, lighted tennis courts, pickleball, basketball, and beach volleyball courts, two bath houses, a playground. It is handicap accessible. Virginia Beach's other ocean pier is located here, the Sandbridge Pier. It is $10 to fish or $2 for sightseeing. It's a much shorter pier than the Virginia Beach Fishing Pier, but it's still very nice with a fish cleaning station. Across the street, some areas for kayak launching. I feel like I'm in the Field of Dreams movie. If you build it, they will come. Just to the north is Outdoor Resorts RV Resort with pools and hot tub, playground, tennis and basketball courts, a gym and fitness center. You can book a vacation rental here as well as other properties along the beach with Surfside at Sandbridge. Moving further north along Sam Filler Road, filled with many vacation rentals. There are regular public access points with very limited public parking spots. Sandbridge is about a 35 minute drive south of the Virginia Beach Boardwalk area. This is a secluded hideaway with five miles of pristine sand dunes and sea oats, a relaxing and peaceful community that gives you a chance to unwind. A real favorite among the locals. The other parking lot is where Sandbridge Road dead ends at the beach. A little less parking than at Little Island Park. A small grocery store here, as well as the Sandbridge Island restaurant with seafood and pizza. A handicap accessible crossover from the parking lot to the beach. There's not a whole lot of businesses or eateries here, but I guess that's the way people here prefer it. Less corporate, more nature, more just enjoying the beach. Sandbridge Realty also has pet-friendly vacation rentals, as well as bikes, bodyboards, surfboards, beach chairs, and umbrellas. And there you have it, the beautiful coastline of the Commonwealth of Virginia. Fresh waters, fair meadows, and goodly tall trees. Those first settlers were pretty spot on with their description of this coastline. Now, over 400 years later, Virginia Beach still has people coming here for its nature with so much outdoor activities, satisfying both the active lifestyle and those who just wanna relax and get away. Certainly, Virginia Beach has to be ranked as one of the great beaches of the East Coast. I put links and addresses in the description below to help you plan your Virginia Beach getaway. If you have visited here, I would love to hear your tips and suggestions on where to go. We are Tampa Aerial Media. We film travel promos across the USA. For stock footage, or if you'd like to hire us to film your city or region, contact us at info at tampaaerialmedia.com. Next, we head northwest to one of America's great cities, one that sits on the banks of three rivers, Pittsburgh. From the Commonwealth of Virginia, I suggest to you to get outside, go explore, enjoy nature, meet people. Blessings to you, wherever you may be.